Hello and welcome to Kids Kingdom Sunday School. I'm Eden. And I'm Sarah. And today we're going to start off our video with the little memory verse. This memory verse says, My brothers and sisters, think of the various tests you encounter, encounter as occasions for joy. After all, you know that the test in every faith produces endurance. James 1, 2 through 2 through 3. Yeah. What do you think that means? I think it means in hard times or in tough times that you think you can't get through, God will always be with you and help you. Yeah, it means that even when we can't see God, we know he's with us and we know he's working. We can have faith that he's helping us get through the times that are hard. Sound, sound good? Yeah. So right now we're going to do a little example of what faith looks like. Eden's going to help me with this. She's agreed to help me with this. She's going to do something she doesn't like to do. She's going to put on a glove. She hates gloves. She's really glad spring is almost here because she does not like to wear gloves. So our glove has a word on it. I don't know if you guys can see at home. It's fear. It says fear. So she's going to put our fear glove on. And then I have two bottles that look the same. But this bottle is empty. And this bottle is not empty it's full of faith so i'm going to give our empty bottle to eden and she's going to show you what happened what fear can do when you don't have any faith no when you have faith it's a little bit different didn't quite yeah do the didn't same budge thing, at all doesn't budge at all. When we have faith, the bottle filled with faith. Can I take the glove off? Now? Yeah, you can take the glove off now. It doesn't even look like anything happened to it. And that's because faith gives us strength from God. And today we're going to talk about someone who got strength from God. But before we do that, we have some questions for you. Who would you rather battle with? A tiger or, an or a killer rat slash orca? I would rather battle a killer whale. I don't know why, just tigers seem more ferocious and quick and they can sneak up. Yeah, both are hard choices. I think I would go with a killer whale too. Um, I don't go in the ocean a lot, so I probably wouldn't would have less of a chance to even like run into, into the ocean. a killer whale. So yeah. what about um what wild about boar or, or crocodile? I would pick wild I would pick crocodile because I can run a crocodile, and wild boars are ferocious. Yeah, I probably would pick a crocodile too. Wild mm. boars are very, very scary. Very. Now, what about between a boa constrictor and a great white shark? I'd pick the boa constrictor actually because I can outrun it. You think you can outrun the boa constrictor? Yeah, they're really scary. Yeah. I think Dad will pick the great white shark. He yeah. is not a fan of snakes. So I think the truth is that none of these are great options. They're all pretty ferocious animals. They're all something I would not want to run into. I wouldn't want to run up against any of them. They're all very dangerous. They're all not any animals that I'd want to have for pets. I told you guys we're going to talk about someone who had great faith today. Um, we're going to talk about someone from, Eden's going to read from this Bible today, the Spark Story Bible, and she's going to tell you about someone who had to make a choice between standing up for God and facing off against the very angry lion. So she's going to read the story of Daniel and the lions. Daniel and the lions. Daniel loved God. He prayed every day and tried to live as God told him to. Daniel knew that no matter what, God was always with him. Daniel's good friend, King Darius, put Daniel in charge of many things in his kingdom. Some men got very jealous of Daniel and decided to get him in trouble. Haha, <laughs> they said. We'll get Daniel yet. The men tricked the king into making a new law that everyone had to pray to King Darius and not God. 
Anyone who broke this law would be placed in a den full of lions. Yikes. Danny was very afraid of lions, but he prayed to God anyway. Daniel knew he could get into big trouble. He also knew God would always be with him. Trouble came quickly. The men who tricked King Darius saw Daniel framed. Aha, they said. We've got him. Now he won't be the king's favorite. They went to tell, tell the king. King Darius, Daniel is praying to God instead of you. King Darius looked puzzled. Daniel always prayed, prayed Darius God. What was the big deal? Then the men reminded him, you must put Daniel in the lion's den. You made it a law, remember? Oh no, King Darius did not want to put Daniel in the lion's den. He didn't want Daniel to be hurt, but King Darius had to follow his own law. Daniel was put in with the lions. King Darius said, I hope your God helps you. He went home and stayed awake all night worrying about Daniel. In the lion's den, it was dark and scary. Lions prowled all around Daniel. Daniel prayed, God, I know you are with me. Please help me. God was with Daniel. <laughs> At sunrise, King Darius heard, hurried to the lion's den and had it open. Daniel, he called, are you there? Did your God save you? Daniel answered, I'm here. God kept the lions from hurting me. God always keeps me safe. King Darius was overjoyed to see his friend. friend. From that day on, King Darius believed in God. How do you know that God is always with you in the hard times? That is a really good question. Well, there's a picture of Daniel and King Darius. Stephen, can you read that question again? How do you know that God is always with you, even in hard times? That's a good question for you guys to talk about at home. I'm going to post that on our Kids Kingdom Facebook page so you guys can remember it and maybe talk about it home because that's yeah. something that I think is is one of those questions that takes a little bit of time yeah. to think about. You can't just answer off the top of your head. The story that Eden just read to us shows us what can happen when you have a strong faith. And one of the things I love about Daniel is that um, even though this story happened when he was an adult, his faith started to develop when he was young, just like you guys. So he spent time growing his faith his whole life. So he started out when he was younger, and he did things every day to help develop that faith. He, he spent time with God, talking to him, praying, and each day his faith grew a little bit at a time. And so my hope is that you guys will do the same thing, that you will spend time every day doing things that will help your relationship with God grow stronger every day. Eden, what do you think some things are that will help your relationship with God grow strong? You can pray every day. You can listen to like music and worship him. And yeah. yeah. You can also read your Bibles if you have Bible at home. Um, I know all of our third graders and up have Bibles. And if you don't have, have a Bible. Bible at home and you would like a Bible, I would love to get you a Bible as soon as I can after this thing is over, maybe, or maybe even yeah. before then, we can always try to get one to you sooner. So and mail. Just let me know, and we would love to get you a Bible. So, because Daniel had worked hard to make his faith strong, when his faith got tested, like our memory verse said, when his faith got put to the test, he was ready for it. He was ready because he knew that God was with him, and he didn't have to be afraid. So that's what we want you guys to do, too, is to just keep practicing your faith, keep making it strong, so you'll be ready when hard times come, and you'll know that God's with you, too. Sound good? Yeah. So we have a little challenge for you. We know that you guys are probably at home. You guys are doing all kinds of fun things, but we have another idea that you can do something fun. The story Creativity. Creativity, yeah. So we have a creativity challenge for you. So our story talked a lot about lions and they kind of seem like the bad guys in the story but i think the lions are actually pretty cool because yeah. they remind us that daniel um had faith in god and they are kind of a, a symbol of god's faithfulness in the story because they helped us they helped daniel to be reminded of god's faithfulness and they can help us to remember god's faithfulness so i would like you guys to show us your lions eden drew a picture of a lion that she would like to show you his name is hilbert the the taco who, the lion who loves tacos. So Herbert, the lion who loves tacos. Let's bring him a little closer. 
So that is who the the taco eating lion. And you can draw or paint a picture of a lion or at home and we'd love to see it. You can post that on the kids mm -hmm. Facebook page. Or if you're more ambitious, you can do a diorama of like Daniel and the lion standing like this. Daniel is in the back of the lion thing. The lions are prowling around. So there he is. Yeah. And then you can post that on Kate's Kingdom page too. We're gonna um we'll post pictures of our stuff and then you can um add to that that thread if you'd like. And another cool thing that you guys can do, I know a lot of you are really good drawers and you really like to draw a lot more than one picture. You could re um do the story of Daniel in comic book form. Aiden, when she draws comic books, she likes to create her own comic book pages, but you yeah. can also Google comic book page um, printouts on online, and you can print out your own pages that are already all set to go for you, and then you can just add the drawings in yourself. Yeah. And it's really fun and really cool, and I would love to see those too. So all kinds of things you can do to be creative at home with the story of Daniel, and I would love to see them. And I know that other people from our church would love to see them too. So we would love we would love, love, love to see what you guys come up with. We also have another challenge for you. We want you guys to be others-minded, even though that's hard when we're all stuck at home. But we know that you guys can do it. And we have come up with some ideas for you to be able to do that this week while you're at home. One of the things that we've been able to do at home this week is go on a few walks. The weather has been a little bit nicer a couple days, and so yeah. we've been able to go on walks. But we noticed that in our neighborhood, there's been some litter around. So one of the things that we thought we could do is take a, a bag with us and wear some gloves, of course, and pick up some of the trash along our route and maybe make our neighborhood look a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner yeah. as we go on our route. Or you can send an email to a teacher or teacher teachers and tell them how, how you appreciate them or just ask them what they're up to and what you've been doing through this hard time. Mr. Phil, our facilities manager, one of our facilities managers at church was talking to us in our staff huddle. We have a staff huddle every day because we all can't be together and talk to each other in church. So we all get together on the same theater just like we're doing right now. And he was telling us that during one of his walks, um, he noticed in his neighborhood that some people had put signs in their windows that had positive and encouraging messages. And we thought that was really cool. Something that all of us could do too, just to make a little sign and then hang it in your window that says, we're thinking about you or have a great day or we're all in this together. Anything encouraging that you can come up with or maybe even just draw a really big picture. It can be a sunshine or a rainbow, anything that you can come up with just so that you can think of that'll brighten somebody's day. And you can draw some pictures on ch chalk or write some words of encouragement on the sidewalk to brighten someone's day. Or if you think of anything else, you can just post it on the Kids Kingdom Facebook page. Yeah, we'd love to hear your ideas too. And we would also um, love for you to go back and check out the memory verse on Kids Kingdom Facebook page. We're going to post that up there so you can work on that at home. And we would also like for you to check back throughout the week on Kids Kingdom Facebook page because there'll be some some tips and ideas for you to keep working on getting that faith strong at home. So right now we would love to pray with you guys. So will you join us in prayer? Jesus, thank you so much that you are always with us, even when it's hard and when it's scary. Thank you for making our faith strong and for giving us examples like Daniel that we can look to and we can look up to God. Thank you for his faith and for our the example that he gives us. Help us to remember, Lord, that you are with us all the time. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.